Aquarius. <laughs> What's up, Aqua? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition, and I am here to do your collective reading, my loves. Let's hop straight on in. Let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. Um, keep in mind that this is general. It's for all Aquarius, but it may not resonate with all of you guys, all right? So please do only take what resonates and never force it to fit. All righty. Um, happy holidays and Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday. Um, so sending y'all lots of love. XOXO. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, um, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Spirit, please guide me through this reading. I don't know why that happened. Please guide me through this reading. But the sign of Aquarius in love, what do they need to know in here at this time? All right. I don't know why I like smell popcorn. <laughs> That's so weird. So maybe y'all are eating popcorn, popping popcorn. I don't know. But like, I smell like white cheddar popcorn. That's weird. All right. So we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. And we have codependency. All right. So Aquarius, you guys can be dealing with somebody that is codependent to you. All right. Like they, they depend on you. They need you. You can be the breadwinner. You can be the one that's, you know, financially stable in this relationship or vice versa. Maybe you need them. We have let your friends help you flirt, calling in your soulmate, getting to know each other. So, Aquarius, you can also be trying to get to know somebody, but you're in a connection with somebody and you may fight this other person as your soulmate. Or you could be kind of feeling like, you know what, I have this relationship and even though I want to be with somebody else, I'm going to stay in this relationship. But with the codependency, though, I don't know. It says addictions are affecting your romantic life. Hmm. I see this another way, too. I feel like for some of you guys, you're with somebody that could be financially stable. And I'm not saying you're codependent on them, but I feel like they get, like I feel like they have everything you need, as far as like the car, the home, like they take care of you. They're a good provider. Um, they can even be like a good father, or mother figure, or something like that. They make good money, but I feel like you may feel like that's their way of being in control because they want you to depend on them. And maybe you got your own bag or you're doing your own thing. That could be it too. But I feel like the reason why, I, well, the reason why I said it is because I feel like there, I feel like there's two people here. And I feel like there's one person that's financially stable and can offer and give you everything you want to need. But then there's somebody that you feel is your soulmate. And I don't feel like it's this person. And I feel like you guys may flirt and talk to each other every now and then. And this person may feel like you're codependent Aquarius. Because they feel like you're settling in a relationship where there's financial, and fi financial security and stability is what I'm getting for some of you guys, somebody may be like a finance manager, be a manager, a boss, or this has like a really good position. Because I like how she's picking the flowers. So it's like somebody, like they, they're, somebody's in their bag for some of you guys, Aquarius. The person you're dealing with are, they just make really good money. But I feel like that may not be where your heart is at. And that may be why the codependency card is here. Because you're still flirting with somebody. Somebody that you may still feel like is your soulmate or you have a soulmate connection with. And I feel like if you're so happy, you wouldn't even be like thinking about this other person or stepping outside the relationship or even flirting with this other person is what I'm getting. So I don't know. that This may not be for all of you guys. Remember, take what resonates, Aquarius, okay? Um, so let's see. What was next? Uh -oh. Well, let's see how this is going to uh, play out for us. Let's see. We have bye, Felicia. All right. Goodbye. Lesson learned next. Okay. So maybe the person that you are still thinking about or dealing with, I mean, not the person you're dealing with now, but the ex, maybe there were some lessons in that situation. Maybe you learned some type of lesson and you're with this other in this other situation that's much better, but it's like you still feel like the need to flirt or something with this other person but we're gonna see let's see where this is going let me see let's see Aquarius we have I'm feeling lonely again yeah so I feel like the person you're with like I said they can make money they can be doing their thing taking care of you but you feel lonely in this relationship at times, I feel, I don't know, I feel like 
I thought this has to do with two different people. Let me see. We have words held against you. Yeah, and I feel like whoever the ex is or whoever this other person is you think about, I feel like um, there are certain things that they may say and you held that against them or something happened between you guys. And that's probably one of the reasons why you're not going back. But let's see. Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. Let's see. Can't help. Can't help it still into you. See, that's what I'm saying. And look how she's all looking in his ear. So there's somebody, male or female, doesn't matter, that you're still into. Okay? So you guys are torn between two lovers. Okay? Torn between two lovers. We have a new soulmate. What did I fucking say? Look. A new soulmate. We have watching over you. All right? And I feel like the new soulmate is good for you. They're positive. I feel like they're financially stable. I feel like they give you what you want. I feel like when you're with them, you have everything you need. Security, stability, home, car, all that. You know? But we have a cleanse and mirror messages. All right? So I feel like... You still probably could mirror the other person and um, the ex in some type of way. But I feel like some of you guys are needing to do some type of ex cleanse because you're trying to get this ex or this person out of your energy. Okay? Because um, I feel like in that situation it says, I'm done, it hurts to continue. So, let's see. Because I feel like if this is the ex, I feel like you still think about them, you flirt. And all that, but I feel like you're like, it hurts to continue. I'm done. You're like, you know, like when I'm with you, I feel in this dark and heavy energy where we mirror each other. I need to do an egg cleanse. I need you out of my energy and my space. And then I feel like this situation is like so cute, so positive, so good. So let's see where this is going, Aquarius. All right, let's see. What's going on with Aquarius? Aquarius, sun will rise and also Let's see what this is about. Finances and career. See, look. We have three of pentacles in reverse. Let's see. So that's not saying like I feel like Aquarius for some of you guys are in a situation where somebody makes more than you or they're able to provide and give you more than the other person could or was able to. Let me see why is it be a pentacle in reverse? Let me see. King of Wands. See, I feel like you guys met an Aries Leo or Sagittarius that came into your life and that stepped up and either took you out of a situation or they're like a boss. Like it's like they just have a lot to provide and give to you. See the ace of pentacles. Told you. This person is a provider, a giver, a leader, a business owner, an entrepreneur. Like they just, there's something about them. They're very suave, very sexy, very attractive. They have a really good job, good position. You know what I'm saying? So you guys can be dealing with somebody that's like a star, a rapper, somebody that's in the limelight. They get a lot of attention. That's also your energy, Aquarius. Um, let's see, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Go to the Ace of Pentacles. Yep, see, look, an emperor. See, a boss. Somebody that's bossy, like a boss. And the grass is definitely greener with them. So it's like going back to your ex would not make sense. But it's like it could be an Aries or a Taurus. But more so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. And it's like with them, it's like the situation is good. You know. It's like a way better situation. But it's like this ex or whoever this other person is. See where it says it's hurt to continue. You, you're done. I feel like there's still something there. Okay, I feel like you haven't fully got closure from that situation. Um, this can also be somebody that you might marry, or there's potential there, like for, you know, marriage, or you guys have a child with this person, whoever this is. So let's see, let's see what's going on, with Aquarius. Give me six cards for Aquarius. All right, so we have the six of pentacles in reverse, we have the seven of swords. We have the Ace of Wands reverse. So some of you guys, I wouldn't say you're taking advantage, but in a relationship or a situation that you don't know if you really want to be in or the energy has shifted or maybe they don't feel the same as the ex or there's something like the chemistry or something is off. Let me see. Not a Pentacles in reverse, the Judgment and the Empress. Give me one second, Aquarius, because the boys are playing the games are being loud and I am recording late. Um, so I do apologize. Give me one second. All right, I'm sorry, Aqua. So let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify.
What I'm also seeing is that this ex or whoever this is, Aquarius, I mean, I feel like you know you deserve so much more. And I feel like this other person can give it to you. We also have the Emperor and Empress, and I feel like that's a better match for you. Not as far as your feelings and how you feel, or maybe needing closure or something. I'm not sure when it comes to this ex or whoever this person is. But I see that there's somebody in your energy that is a liar and deceptive and that could take advantage of you. And it's like telling me like you shouldn't put energy into this. There's broken promises. This person still lies and still plays the field. And with judgment, they do want to come back into your life or they've been trying to come back into your life, trying to get another chance, another opportunity. You know, like, oh, I miss you. I feel what's going on. What's up with you and stuff like that. And I feel like it's not something good for you. I feel like it's not something that you should give into. So let's see why the Six of Pentacles is coming up in reverse. We have the King of Wands. See, look, and we have the King of Wands there, and we have the Magician in reverse. So this King of Wands, which will make sense. So let me go into this King of Wands because I don't ever want to mislead y'all or say something. Let me see. Why is the King of Wands here? Because it is going towards the Three of Cups in reverse. So the King of Wands with the Three of Pentacles are in reverse is the person trying to come back into your life. So my apologies. The Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles, that would be the new relationship. Okay, yeah, the world and the chariot. This is the person, yeah, trying to come back in. All right, trying to move things forward with you. This is a new energy. That's the old energy. And the King of Wands Magician in Reverse is the person I feel like you can't trust. They're trying to take advantage. They'll do, end up doing something behind your back or it's just like misleading. I feel like you shouldn't trust them all the way. So let's see why the Magicians in Reverse can also, um, can also be a Gemini or a Virgo going to the Magician in Reverse. We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is the person that you're still in love with. Are they still in love with you? But look, they come with this devil, this low vibrational energy. Okay? So let's see why the Seven of Swords is here, Aquarius. Go on to the Seven of Swords. Let me see. Ace of Pentacles or Inverse. Yeah, they're not really offering anything serious. Nothing tangible. Nothing that can grow. Nothing that's long term. No commitment. Ace of Pentacles or Inverse. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this situation is a much better situation. And I feel like what the problem is is that they see you moving on and moving forward and you're going towards something better. So I feel like they're trying to, like, come in, like, oh, what's up, Aquarius? I miss you. You know, I haven't talked to you in so long. And I feel like it's somebody that may have at one point wanted a relationship with you, wanted a family with you. That could be the case. But I feel like it's just, I don't, I'm not, I can't seem to take this person serious at all. Um, I just can't. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Five of Swords or Reverse? Hmm. This is somebody that wants, okay, this is communication coming in. They don't want to fight and argue no more. This is somebody that um, wants to heal the relationship with you. You do mean something to this person with the star here. But it's also seeing this time for you to heal and move on from this connection is what I'm getting Aquarius. Because I just feel like this person is never going to give you what, you what you want or never put into this relationship like your new person or like how you want them to. Why is the Five of Cups in reverse? Going to the Five of Cups in reverse. The King of Pentacles. Yeah, I see. Move on and go towards something better. I told you, whoever this is, there's some security and stability here with this emperor. Whoever this is, despite their sign, there's a lot of security and stability. And I feel like it's a much better match, a much better person for you. Once of the King of Pentacles. The emperor in reverse. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, see, and it's saying, like, be careful about going into this new beginning. For some of you guys, you may feel like this person is your divine masculine or the person that you're going to be with long term, marry or be with. And it's the not the ex. It's not who you think it is. I feel like it will be more so this person over here. Let's see the, the emperor over here. Why is this here? Go into the emperor. Why is the emperor over here with this ace of pentacles? Because this is the person you're coming in with the offer or the person that has something about themselves. We have the empress in reverse. See, we have the six of cups in reverse. And we have the lovers. See, there's a love. There's love and there's a connection here. But I wonder why you're coming up in the reverse. You're not seeing something here. Let me see. Why is the Empress in reverse for Aquarius? Why is the Empress in reverse? The Page of Swords in reverse. And the Ace of Swords in reverse. See, and I feel like this person, you've been through a lot with this person, Aquarius. Whoever this person is. And I feel like you're trying to let them go. You're trying to block them out and ignore them. And I feel like one minute you're like, okay, am I making the right decision? Then this is you kind of like lying to yourself, telling yourself that you moved on and you're over and you're really into them and you're not. And you can't help it and you still have these feelings and you're really trying to figure out how you feel in both situations. So I feel like you may meet up with the other person, the ex or whatever, and see what they're all about. But then I feel like you know that it's not worth it. Some of you guys may even reach out to like a reader or somebody or 
thought about booking a reading but then changed your mind because I feel like you already knew like okay well damn like I know what I need to do in this case in this situation okay um um my goodness I'm so sorry Aquarius give me one more second all right, I'm sorry, Aqua. Super sorry. Maybe that's a sign, Aquarius. You know, maybe this other person is a distraction. <laughs> Since the boys, I feel like, are distracting or trying to distract me. Um, so let's see. Why is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Let's see. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see if it's about um, the moon in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like this other person is no good. They're going to come in, say some shit, lie, another broken promise. You know, um, they want you to, like, mess around on your person and sleep with them and be with them. Yeah, like, they want you to lie to your person and lie about your whereabouts and where you're at and what you're doing. You know, or I just see this person as, like, a liar, very manipulative. You know, like, oh, just say you're going here and come be with me and all this type of stuff. Like, and I even feel like this person is, like, just saying stuff like, oh, remember when we used to do this? Remember? You know, oh, come sit on my face, all this type of stuff. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Like, I feel like somebody is just, like, trying to, like, get you to give in so bad, Aquarius. Don't do it. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, and I feel like you're going to feel bad about it afterwards. They breadcrumbed you. They played you. They lied to you. Messed around on other people with you. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. They're going to be back in. They're going to be in and out. It's going to be the same shit that they always do, Aquarius. Yeah, see, King of Swords is here. And we have Judgment in Reverse. Mm-mm. You know this person too well to fall for the okie doke, to fall for the bullshit. You do. You're much smarter than that, Aquarius. So when they come in, tell them, nah, I ain't got no fucking time. Bye. Because it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. And I thought like there's somebody around you that you don't want to know about this situation. Um, I feel like they may judge the situation and say stuff. And I'm not saying they have a right to, but I feel like whatever they're saying is true. So, like, say if this was, like, a sister or, like, a friend, and they're like, girl, don't talk back to them. Like, he gonna do the same shit he did to you last time. Like, you know, it's not worth it, blah, blah, blah. You may not want to hear that, but it's the truth. Okay? So, let's see why the judgment card is here. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Nine of Wands reverse. Yeah, this is something that you need to give up on. Stop putting energy into, like, it's done, you know? It stresses you out, not of swords. Yeah, I don't see anything growing or I don't see, any, like, anything happening, growing or anything here. I don't see no growth here. I do see where you're still holding on to this person or they're still holding on to you. Or maybe you're still holding on to the idea of you guys reconnecting one day and coming back together. But I don't see that, though. I, I feel like this other situation is way, way better. Going to the Empress, and I feel like the Empress, um is the match to this emperor over here why is the empress here the knight of cups look the new love like i said it could be a scorpio look the sun it could be a leo somebody that's gonna make you a whole lot better i mean a whole lot happier you could be dealing with a leo you actually might even get pregnant by this person to have a baby boy mm -hmm. or it could be like where you're an aquarius the dad's a leo or the son's a leo or a scorpio so maybe y'all are like leo scorpio aquarius something like that but yeah, I see you guys being a whole lot happier with this person. They're making you a whole lot happier. And I feel like there's going to be some type of proposal or something that comes in even by next year, by next summer. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a child here. They are going to propose something to you. They're waiting for the right time. I feel like the person you're dealing with, they like to do things, you know, around the, around a certain time. Or they like to do stuff, um, what's I going to say, like, they put significance behind what they do. You know, so like say if you guys met in August or something, then that's when they're going to propose to you or, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. If you had the baby in August or something, I don't know. You know, just an example. Why is it the wands here? Yeah, the shame card. Much better connection. Way much better connection than that other connection. And I see this moving forward. And this is the start of your new beginning, something that you wanted. But I feel like maybe this person needed to come back in for you to finally let them go. Because I feel like with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, it's still not going to work out. It's still not going to move forward. It's still not going to go anywhere. It's still like a situation up in the air. Like, it's just, I don't know. I feel like they're just a waste of time, Aquarius. So, I feel like you know what you need to do. Give me a love message for Aquarius. 
me a love message for Aquarius. We have long journey. It's going to take a while. Many ups and downs, lessons to learn. Yep. And then look, we have protection. So it's saying like use protection with this person. Possible STD, risk of getting pregnant. Mm hmm So, if you sleep with your ex, use protection. Let's see, messages for Aquarius. So, we have a lie card. They said yes to marriage counseling, but they aren't taking it seriously. So maybe you guys went to relationship counseling, marriage counseling. Maybe you guys could have been married. Queen of Wands in reverse. No, because they, they're letting somebody else control them. Whatever this Queen of Wands is, is in reverse. So I feel like um, when you guys were with this person, Aquarius, they chose another person over you. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And that's why they didn't want to work things out with you. But now I feel like that situation may be, you know, no longer coming together or working out. And now they're trying to come back into your life and get with you. Let's see. We have a truth card. They feel like they found the one. Yeah, see, I fight this is your new love. Okay, because look, these they look like two different people on here. Two different men, two different people. For sure. Seven of Pentacles. This is the person that's invested. Yes. That's what this is. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you were waiting for this person to come in and commit to you, but now you found somebody new. Okay. And I feel like the only thing is, Aquarius, is that you don't see this new person like they see you because of the ex. And I feel like once you see them the same way they see you, then it will be a lot different between you guys. Let me see messages for Aquarius. We have, what is this? Oh, a lie card. Um, they say they want a baby with you. They just wasting your time and fucking with your mind. So your ex could have said they wanted a baby. They were just, they were saying that during sex. Like, I feel like when you guys were having sex, oh, I want you to have my baby, I love you, and all the type of stuff, the devil's here. They were just all into it. They were into the sex and telling you whatever you wanted to hear. Let's go on to this protection thing. Um, oh, be careful, Aquarius. Oh, the two of swords. Oh, yes. Somebody has, I don't know, like, okay, somebody has something that is, like, that doesn't like, I don't know. I don't want to scare you guys and say like a herpes or something like that. But somebody has something that is like still, meaning like it flares up at certain times. Okay. Because the eight of wands is like moving. The flare is like sticking out, you know, and there's like little, I don't know. Somebody can have like an STD, like a herpes or something. Or maybe you don't know that and it's telling you to use protection because you might end up getting it or you're going to find out or something like that. Let's see. It's not the person you're dealing with either. Nope. Mm -mm. Um. Only if I pulled it twice is because we have the two of swords here twice. Give me messages for the X. Yep, eight of swords and verse four of cups. And we have, look, three, wow, look, told you three of cups in reverse in the tower. So your ex, like, they sleep around. They don't use protection in the towers here. And I I hope you, this is, like, something that, like, you might, like, wash, like, you know, wash up down there or see something. And you're like, what is this? And all this type of stuff. And it might be when you guys mess around and you're going to find out something after the fact. But I feel like you may not, the two of swords being here, eight of wands, you might not find out right away. You might not find out right away. You may not find out right away. I feel like it's going to, it'll probably take like, well, we are in winter season, but it might take months down the line before you find out. And I feel like if you, when you find out, you're already going to know it came from your ex. And then you're going to be worried and hope you didn't give it to the new person. Okay. Okay. Are yeah, the new person whoever you're dealing with. So let's see, Aquarius. And I'm not saying that for all of you guys. Remember, take what resonates. All right, so let's pull your spirit message and let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius. All right, let's see. 
we have number 23 release your inner rebel be yourself and create your own universe so yeah release your inner rebel it's time for you guys to make moves take action it's time for new beginnings it's time for you guys to like just live your best life and be full of energy it's time for you guys the butterflies is like evolving movement change okay so i love this it's time and number 23 breaks down to five which is about change Okay, so it's time for you guys to be yourself, be your true authentic self, and release and create, all right, and start manifesting the things that you do want in your life, Aquarius, all right? All right, so that was your reading. Sorry I had to pause it twice. Y'all know school's out, the boys are here, even though it's late. <sighs> I'm sorry. I love y'all. Don't be mad at me. All right, um, if it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book fireintuition.com. All you guys can book on my online store, my tears have healed my heart .com. And that's it. Stay dope. I'll see you guys in your next Aquarius reading or on the channel on a collective reading. Bye, Aqua.